Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would take you long to do my keratin treatment. I do an at-home keratin treatment and I've been doing this since I want to say about a year or maybe a little bit over a year for now. I naturally have like super curly hair and I like doing keratin treatments because it just helps me to handle my hair better. I've never really learned how to like take care of my naturally curly hair and I must say it is a little bit of a hassle. I decided to go totally natural a couple years ago but to be honest this isn't for me. So I decided to get my hair keratin treated and I really really love this brand so this is not an ad or anything. I just found this on Amazon and this is the Amazonless keratin treatment. So this exact treatment is a new treatment and this is gonna be the second time I am going to use this specific keratin treatment which is the vegan care. Before that I was also using the keratin treatment from Amazon Lace, but this is just like a different keratin treatment I guess. This one is vegan which I really like and what I also like about this is that you don't need to use a straightener whereas the other keratin treatment I used before that one I had to use a straightener and had to like straighten my hair like one strand of my hair like over and over to lock in the keratin which I feel like even though I didn't do a keratin treatment that often I felt like it was just not really healthy for my hair so I'm really happy about this one and that you don't need to use a straightener you can use a straightener but you don't need it and I really like that about this keratin treatment The first thing you have to do is to wash your hair and the keratin treatment kit comes with a shampoo so I am obviously using that one. So to be honest this is not my favorite shampoo, it doesn't really foam and I used it over and over again but it never foamed but I think it got the job done. So fresh out of the shower as you can see my hair does revert back, it doesn't stay completely straight and it would be a little bit more curlier if I would just dry it but we're not gonna do that I'm gonna go and blow dry my hair so I don't know if you can tell but my roots they grew in I do have to say the keratin treatment washes out but like it doesn't completely wash out after three months there's still a little bit of keratin in my hair so when I am about to apply the product, I will mainly focus the products on my root, but I also will apply some products on the ends of my hair and like the midst of my hair. Although the keratin isn't completely gone, uh, my hair still like starts to get frizzy again. So there's enough of it gone to be frizzy. So that's why I'm like doing my whole hat. So this is not a relaxer where you only have to do your roots every time to touch up. This is like it truly just washes out. And I think if I would just like leave it, then the keratin treatment would wash out within, I want to say maybe like six months to like maybe nine months. I don't know. You do notice that the keratin washes out. This is what I mean by my hair is frizzy. <laughs> So I think this is about like 80% dry, maybe it's even a little bit more than 80%. Okay, my hair is as frizzy as it can be. So I usually don't need one bottle for one keratin treatment, but it also doesn't really last uh, for two keratin treatments. Yeah. I have my bowl right here. This is a normal bowl which I use to eat my cornflakes out of. Obviously it's clean right now. Um, I don't have like a professional mixing bowl but if you do then go ahead and use it but I have a professional application brush I don't think it's that professional because I got it out of a box by box basically it works it applies the product onto my hat so I'm just gonna 
pour like everything in here because I know I'm gonna use it anyways and I'm probably gonna open up the other keratin bottle. The keratin treatment also comes with cloves which I can highly recommend you use because you are gonna go in there with your fingers even though you have an application brush but to like you know smoothen everything out. So I'm gonna section my hair and for this you don't really need to be like too neat because at the end of the day you're gonna apply like the product to your whole head. So I'm first gonna do my whole roots and let that sit for like a little bit and then do the rest of my hair. And you don't really need that much product. Okay, I really should get a mirror. <laughs> I'll be right back, I'm gonna get myself a mirror. We are back. So what I also like to do is to take my tangle teaser and just brush through everything so I know that the product is like evenly spread and just go all the way down. The application process is really simple. It's really easy. You just have to apply the product onto your hair. And I also feel like there is not much you could do wrong. So I just finished my roots and now I'm gonna apply the keratin treatment onto the midst of my hair and the ends of my hair. And I'm gonna use a little bit more of the new packaging because that one just didn't last, which I already knew before. So to clear things up, because I feel like I got a little bit lost in translation, I don't need a whole bottle to do my keratin treatment. I still had some keratin treatment left from the last time that I did the treatment, so I was obviously using that whole bottle and then I had to open up a new bottle. But with that said, if you do have longer hair or like more hair than I do, then you might need two bottles or like one and a half bottles to do your keratin treatment. Leave that on my hair for about 40 minutes and then rinse it out and I'll see you in 40 minutes. So I am going to use this reconstructive mask which I feel like right now my hair feels a little bit dry uh, but this one will bring it back to normal like, look how thick that thing is I'm gonna apply it to my hair and then just leave it in for like 5 to 10 minutes and then rinse it out oh yeah, my hair already feels so much better So as you can see, the difference to before is just crazy and I just use the same brush attachment as I used before and my hair feels so nice and shiny and with using the highest heat I could like really feel how the keratin was like activated in my hair which I know it sounds a little bit crazy but like my hair feels so soft now and it was just because I just locked in the keratin I guess uh, I'm not completely done yet I just wanted you to see the difference to before and like how shiny my hair is already so as for the next step I am just switching out the attachment to my other round brush attachment and I'm going over my hair again because this is metal I feel like this brush gets a little bit more like hot and the keratin treatment can just lock in even more I just love the fact that I don't need a straightener to do this keratin treatment. Although I must say the highest heat on the Dyson, I burnt my fingertips, so it's really hot too. So uh, you do need a little bit of heat, but you don't need to straighten your hair over and over for the keratin to lock in. So about a year ago, I decided to film the process of my keratin treatment on to TikTok and it got surprisingly a lot of views. I mean, from my standpoint standards because I don't have any following on TikTok so I got about like 80,000 views and people 
love that video. I don't know why it got so hyped up on TikTok. Um, that video that I filmed on TikTok was with the other keratin treatment where I had to straighten my hair to lock it in. But I got a lot of like questions from that video and I thought I would just like answer something on to this uh, YouTube video. So there were a lot of people saying that they did regret using keratin treatment on their hair. I'm not entirely sure if they used like the same brand as I did, but like I had so far no issue at all. My hair didn't like fall out or anything. I heard a lot of people saying that uh, when they did their keratin treatment that their hair fell out, which is kind of surprising to me. But what I also heard is that some people People got their keratin treatment done at a salon and some salons weren't like that legal I guess I don't know they mixed their keratin treatment with a relaxer which then I totally understand why you would lose your hair I used to get a relaxer done as well and I also did it myself and relaxers are just like really aggressive to your hair so I could really understand why there would be hair loss like if that was the case I mean, I do have naturally fine hair, but like I had no hair loss at all. In fact, I felt like my hair like grew even a little bit stronger so it doesn't break off that easily now. Before that my hair would just split and then fall off so I always noticed that my hair was growing but it would just like never like grow in length because it was so fine and dry and I felt like now with the keratin treatment I'm able to get my hair to like a certain length which I wasn't able to do before I used my keratin treatment. Also another question that I got asked is if I completely lost my curl pattern, which I have to say I didn't lose my curl pattern like completely. My hair gets still curly after I wash it and if I just let it air dry it's still curly but it doesn't have the same type of curl it had before. So before that my hair was like really tight and curly and now my curls are just a little bit more more loosened but my hair still gets curly also my hair just feels a lot softer with the keratin treatment so yeah those were the most questions that I got asked on TikTok